Kentucky at the Power of Pink Meet. Can you talk about tonight and what it means to you? You know, I think first of all, um, just to have a sold out arena and to have all these people wearing pink and then to see those 17 women stand up as survivors. And I think the most heartwarming thing to me was that two of our alumni that were in David's in my first recruiting class were our last two survivors. And then we had a seven, uh, um, a 22 year old senior who just graduated from the university in December. And I think for the 2,300 students that were here, I think that sends a, a message of, you know, we've, we've got to take care of ourselves. And uh, to me, that was pretty special. There's a lot of touching moments tonight. Um, what else could you talk about tonight that you took away as a positive for the team? Well, you know, I, I think we made some mistakes. Um, it's the third meet of the season, but then I thought we came over to the floor exercise at the end and we finished it where last week that's where we had a problem was putting an exclamation point on the end of the meet. Um, I still think that there's some improvement. Uh, obviously, we can get rid of some falls on balance beam. But you know, uh, Kim Jacob, she um, upgraded two tumbling passes. Uh, Kayla Williams did a new vault. She did the best beam routine of her career. So there were a lot of positives. And what about for your next meet? What are you guys gonna continue to build on? Well, I think we have to get rid of the, you know, little errors. Uh, I think we have to continue to work on our execution. Um, I, I feel like Georgia is a great team. Uh, I think it'll come down to the end, and we'll have to win the meet on balance beam next week. Well, again, congratulations. <laughs>